Can AI do anything and everything? That's the question on everyone's mind as using AI tools like ChatGPT and Claude becomes the norm. 62% of people surveyed by ClickUp already use conversational AI to generate content, analyze data, and more. Yes, these tools are powerful, but most of them stop at giving you answers. You still need a human in the loop to handle end-to-end -end workflows, make different tools work together, or process large data sets. And that's why AI agents are becoming the next big thing. Unlike conversational AI, agentic AI can handle your work for you independently, like solving customer problems intelligently, or performing in-depth research, or even booking you a holiday, flights, hotels, and activities. Everything planned to the T. And the best part is, you don't need to be a developer to build an agent. You can use no-code tools like ClickUp and customize them to match your needs. How do you do that? Let's discuss eight simple steps to build an AI agent for better automation of your work. Now, before you build an AI agent, you need to be clear about why you're building it. What job should it do? Should it reply to customers, or plan your calendar and schedule your meetings for you? or triage bug reports and assign them to the right people. Get clear on your agent's goals. Why? Because then you can assign it to a specific role, like a support agent, a marketer, an executive assistant, or a QA expert. With this clear role in place, your agent can perform much better. So start simple. Write down one core task your agent should take over. That becomes the foundation for everything that follows. With the role and goals in place, your next step is to give your agent information and tools they need to work. If it's going to answer customer questions, you need to have a list of FAQs and answers ready in a comprehensive knowledge base. Will it triage incoming bug reports and assign them to the right team members? You should set up an intake form to collect them first and give it access to the responses. Also, think about the tools it should connect to in order to find the data it needs and execute the workflow. It could be your CRM, email system, or even your project management tool. The idea is simple. You wanna make sure your agent has the right information and access so it can actually do the job automatically without waiting for you. Because time savings are the whole point of building one, aren't they? With agents and automations, 50% of people are already saving about one to five hours each week. Now, the next step is choosing the technology your AI agent will run on. Normally, this means deciding on a programming language, a hosting setup, NLP libraries, data libraries, a model like GBT, BERT, or Llama to power the agent and access to specialized vision or speech tools if needed. But if you're using ClickUp, you can skip all that heavy setup and build your own agent using plain English commands. Your stack becomes simple building blocks that include triggers that put the agentic workflow into action, instructions for the agent to draw from, knowledge that the agent can use for context, and actions or the end result that the agent should be executing. With ClickUp's integrations, you can still plug in tools like Slack or GitHub when needed to draw context or execute actions. Need help setting up your first agent? Just ask ClickUp Brain, ClickUp's native AI assistant, to guide you through the process step by step. Now think about how your agent will run and what the outcome should feel like. The best way is to map out your workflow using a tool like ClickUp Whiteboards. Use shapes, connectors, and sticky notes to outline the entire design and even have your team add in their inputs with real-time collaboration. Next, decide on the experience. If people will interact with your agent, you should choose the tone, interface, and style. And add a simple feedback option where people can rate the agent's responses or actions as helpful or unhelpful so the agent can keep improving. If this feels like a lot, don't worry. You also have the option to use a pre-built agent in ClickUp, one that's already set up for you. It can automate tasks like sending you weekly task reports, reviewing your content, or even answering repetitive questions in ClickUp chat channels. If you need more control, you can always create a custom agent instead. With the design ready, let's give your agent some substance. Your AI agent is only as good as the information it learns from. Start by gathering the right data and putting it in one place. For example, if you're building an HR agent to answer employee questions, make sure you've got the company policies, employee handbook, code of conduct, and everything else neatly documented and organized in a central hub, like ClickUp Docs. But if you are building an AI agent on ClickUp, you simply have to give it access to your workspace because your tasks, knowledge, chats, and resources already live here. Make sure to tag and label your data so the model knows exactly what each example means. Then clean it up by removing errors, duplicates, and irrelevant or outdated info so your agent learns only from accurate structured inputs. Now start building and training your agent. Load your training data into your agent builder tool, fine tune your model settings, and let it learn. In ClickUp, this step is much simpler. All you have to do is pick a trigger, add conditions, write down instructions in plain language, and choose what actions the agent will execute for you. By the way, did you know you can execute work four times faster with another ClickUp AI feature? Meet ClickUp Brain Max, your desktop AI super app that enables voice typing with talk to text, handles tasks, get answers, 
and automates workflows. No heavy setup and no typing needed. Now that your agent is trained, test it within a smaller circle as a pilot. See how well it understands questions, gives the right answers, and how fast it responds or executes commands. Then run a few quick checks. First is unit tests. That ensures each part works on its own, that your triggers are firing correctly, conditions are being met, and the right knowledge sources are tapped. Then run user tests. Let real users try it and observe how they interact. Lastly, you do A-B tests. You can compare two versions for your agent to see which performs better. If something feels off, adjust your settings or add more data and train it again. Testing and tweaking are how your agent gets smarter. If you're happy with the results, go ahead and launch your agent. Once it's live, keep an eye on its performance. If you spot issues or come across new needs, just update the agent so it improves over time. And that's how you build an AI agent from scratch. But if you don't want it to take forever, try ClickUp. With ClickUp's no-code builder, you can build, train, and deploy powerful agents without worrying about the technical stuff. So go ahead, try it for yourself. Sign up for free by visiting ClickUp.com.